Today's Tips Du Jour mailbag question comes to us from Australia. Robert, should my braces be quarter sawn or is it okay to orient the grain horizontally? Malcolm in Australia. Well, Malcolm, actually the braces are all quarter sawn. just depends on which way you orient the grain. Now, I have some rules that I have in my classes uh, that I never discuss. One of them is never talk about politics, the other is religion, the other one is Brazilian football clubs, and I'm going to add grain orientation to that list because you can open up a can of worms in a hurry. Now, being that you're from Australia, I have a buddy from Australia named Trevor Gore who literally wrote the book on modal tuning, and I bet he's got an opinion on this. In fact, he's in my shop right now. Why don't I call him over? We'll let him answer your question. All right, so Malcolm, Trevor Gore, I'll let him answer your question for you. Well, there's uh, a few schools of thought about grain orientation. Um, personally, I always sit the grain perpendicular to the soundboard or the uh, back of the guitar. And there's a couple of reasons for that. If you actually measure the soundboard wood for stiffness in the different grain orientations, or the brace wood in the different grain orientations, you get pretty much the same result either way. Uh, and a lot depends on who actually did the testing and exactly how the testing was done. But it comes out pretty much a wash. But in actually using the stuff, it's, uh, it's important to put it uh, with the grain vertical. And the reason for that are two particular reasons. The first is that if you want to carve your braces, it's a lot easier to carve the braces with the grain vertical. And the second is guarding you against uh, splitting if the guitar takes a, a belt, particularly on the back with the scallops going to the uh, sides of the guitar. You get quite a lot more split resistance if you orientate the grain uh, vertically. But there is, as ever in guitar building, a couple of exceptions. And the main one of those is, for example, in um, classical guitars, if you're doing a Smallman-type bracing structure using uh, balsa wood, um, balsa is right on its sheer strength limit uh, when used in a classical guitar for a lattice brace. And to get the best sheer strength out of balsa wood, that comes if you can uh, orientate the grain flat and then the medullary rays act, actually act as sort of pins, pinning the wood together uh, between the, uh, the main uh, winter and summer grain lines. And so you get a high shear strength in balsa when it's um, uh, oriented in the horizontal direction. So Robbie, that's, uh, that's the way I look at it. That's, that's the way, the way I, I look at it too. Yeah. Uh, Malcolm, I hope this has answered your question. So basically it comes down to structural integrity more than tunnel reasons. Structural integrity and the uh, ease of carving if you're into carving braces yeah there you go malcolm in australia mm -hmm.